thank you for Veggie Channel to present this and thank you for your work. I think it's very important and I think you are in the right time, the right place, the right people to make a change, to make a difference. So if we eat different, we will make a difference, I'm sure, because this is not only for the body, it's also for the soul and the mind. My name is Rüdiger Dahlke, I'm a medical doctor, born in Germany but living in Austria now, giving also seminars in Italy, in Monte Grotto, and conferences in some Italian cities. And I wrote about 50 books, and most of them are in Italian too. So the, the titles are uh, Malattia come linguaggio dell'anima, or Malattia come simbolo. And in the last years, I did a, a lot of nutrition work. I do fasting, dejuno, since 40 years, also with my patients, and with quite good success. And in combination with the nutrition thing, the vegan diet, what I call peace food, this book you also have in Italy, we have good success with diseases, symptoms like high blood pressure and rheumatism and diabetes too. So I could say with all these symptoms, you can get rid of them if you use dejuno, uh, fasting, and in combination with vegan diet, but an uh, organic vegan diet. And uh, also there are good successes with heart diseases and with even cancer. It's not the only therapy, of course, for cancer, but it will help a lot if people stop eating meat and dairy products and all that. So this change in the German-speaking countries has already happened in a way. We have now a big field of people who live vegetarian and vegan and I think this will become the new lifestyle. There are a lot of signs in German-speaking countries that things are really changing. And so that's why I came, I was so eager to come to this conference because to see Colin Campbell, professor from Cornell University and Caldwell Esselstyn, because they are the big names. John McDougall also, these three Americans who changed our way of thinking on this nutrition level of medicine. And here is also Klaus Leitzmann, he's the one famous guy from Germany and with his studies we lived for 20 years. He was almost the only one who was in university medicine going a different direction, speaking for vegetarian diets. He's a vegetarian himself. I lived a vegetarian diet for 45 years and vegan since six years now. And I think this will be a change in medicine in the long run. If you combine psychosomatic medicine with vegan diet and as a start with fasting with dejuno, we have a big chance to get rid of, really get rid of important diseases and change medicine on a whole. As, as you look at Caldwell, Caldwell Esselstyn, he's a really very famous surgeon, comes from Cleveland Hospital where they found the bypass and the stand and all this thing, but you can operate on one vessel only. And if you change nutrition, you operate on millions of vessels at the same time, changing the whole being. So this is, I think, a really big advantage. So I'm very fond to being a doctor in this time when things are really changing to the good, I think. In the old days, I had a doctor's place and I had patients all day and we talked about these things. Lately, I give seminars and educations, like also in Italy, in Monte Grotto. I give seminars since 20 years and now also with Italian people, we make conferences, formations, what I call the integral medicine, come together for a week, twice a year, and after three years or six weeks, you have this education and can counsel with people about fasting and changing their nutrition, and this works quite well. Now, in those days, I give only some weeks a year counseling for patients directly because I do so much conferences and formations. Lots of people who come to a week for fasting and during the fasting we talk already about nutrition and in the end we stay together also for some days and we start with a new diet, a plant-based diet and then people come later 
again and we talk about nutrition, cooking things different. I wrote on also some books about cooking, even one about Italian cooking. It's called Peace Food Vegano Italiano. And these are Italian cooks who did the dishes because it's easy to change the Italian way of nutrition to vegan because you are so near already. You eat so much frutta, uh, fruit and so much vegetables. It's not as difficult as with the German diet. But on the other hand, the German diet is so, uh, it's not tasting very well, you know. So it's easy to change a thing which is not so good. So I think this is why in Germany there is a much bigger field already for vegan diet than in Italy. But hopefully we change this too. And I think it started already in Italy. The German diet is horrible. And if you change it, you don't lose a thing. The Italian diet, you know, you're much more into cooking, into enjoying life. And so you're used to the, your things. And the Germans, if they change diet, they will always win. If you look at the two countries, there are so many pizzeria in Germany, so many Italian cooks there. And there's no German restaurant in Italy. <laughs> what for? So this is the, the big difference. It's like, also in Austria, it's more difficult to change habits because the Austrians, they have a, a cooking and a, a tradition which tastes very well. And to give up this is di more difficult. The German, the English people, the Belgian people, the Dutch people, they almost have to give up nothing. It's not tasting well. And that's why they were always very fond of the Mediterranean diet. And then the Germans are very fond of America, of the United States, and they take over almost everything coming from there. And this new veganism is coming from the United States. And it's co connected with these names of, of Colin Campbell, Caldwell Esselstein, and uh, John McDougall. Mm -hmm. If you look, Professor Klaus Leitzmann has always been with us in Gießen, in Germany. And he made all of these studies, and he found out the same things, that the ve vegetarian diet is much better for life. You live longer, you have less cancer, but still, Germans have a tendency to accept everything from the United States, and they are very critical to their own people. The other thing is the whole integral uh, eating stuff and the psychosomatic medicine mm -hmm. in Italy is not so advanced as in Germany. This has to do because the Italian doctors are very, uh, very connected to university medicine very academic and very much or deep into pharmacology. In Germany there's a broad tradition of complementary medicine, doctors who think differently. That's why I came he here and did uh, courses, seminars for Italians. My hope is that we get a really broad field for this, a new lifestyle. I don't like the idea of talking about veggie diet. There's no diet for me. A diet is for ill persons, but, but I think this should be the new lifestyle. And my, my re really big hope is that this new pope, who is, he, he's a Jesuit, and he accepted this name of Francesco. And this is the opposite side in the Catholic Church. So he knows what he's doing, I hope. I have the dream, if he really, Franciscus I, is really following the first Franciscus, then if he puts 1.2 billion Catholics on a new way of respect for life and becoming vegetarian like San Francisco was, then we would have on a new field in the whole world. This is uh, the hope I now have. And there are some signs of this Pope who is, that he is already going in this direction. I hope he will survive this, what he started. And I think nutrition, I mean, he's Latino. He's from Argentina, he, he, he likes to eat meat, I know. But on the other hand, he's a Jesuit, he knows what he's doing, and he knows uh, the polarity. Mm -hmm. And if he chose this name, I think in the background he has also this program. And there were some signs which give me hope in this direction. So I think we could change a lot. And the world is in such a mess, as if I look at the world now, on the politic level, on the economic level, we have to change more than medicine. Of course we have to change medicine too. But I think in the long run we have to change the whole thing. We have to take the, the money out of the focus. 
If you focus only on money, like we do since decades, the American way of life, it doesn't work. And so we have from the United States, in these persons, Colin Campbell, Caldwell, Esselstyn, John McDougall, we have already an impulse to change this from the nutrition level. And I think if we could change it also from a religious level or a level of philosophy of life, mm -hmm. then we could have this big, huge field and a vision which is really worth living and would be Christian again. What we do now is not Christian, in my viewpoint. And if we have this Francis, Fra Franciscan Christianity, I think we could even get the Protestants back to this because they are without any guidance. And what said their biggest figure, Albert Schweitzer, is completely in the direction of what San Francisco said. And the Buddhist, you know, with their feeling for all the feeling creatures. This is also very Franciscan Christian Christianity ideas. So this is my big hope and my vision for the future. Very good. And that's why I live and work for Peace Food and want to bring it also to Italy.